Good evening. Let's get some potatoes in. Oh, and I'd like to say a big thank you to Richard and Paul as well for uh, your wonderful shout out yesterday on the Sunday Sunday chat. We're up to 800 subscribers. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that we can. Uh, it'll be a present for the little farmer, but. Doesn't matter if we don't. It's good to have you all on board. It's great. It's great to have such new friends on board with us, and we hope that you enjoy our little channel. And uh, I hope so. Anyway, we're going to be doing a um, a start off of some seed potatoes tonight. Nine seed potatoes are going into nine buckets, which are eleven inches in diameter and fourteen inches high. And uh, they are cut flower buckets that we get from Asda, which is Walmart if you're over in America. A part of the Walmart family, the Walton family. And uh, anyway, so that's what we're, we're, we're going to be doing tonight. Three different varieties of potatoes, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, going into nine buckets, three of each. So three sets of three. I'm rambling, aren't I? Anyway, hope you enjoy it. See you in a bit. So because we're growing in the buckets, we're going to make sure that we've got equal hole drainage in these buckets. Pretty fitting, one-handed this. But I'm going to give it a whirl. There's eight there, and they're all going to have the eight in them. All nine buckets. So that's your first step to get the holes in the buckets because when they come, because they're cut flower buckets uh, that you get free if you're cheeky and you ask for them at the Asda, they'll give you them for nothing because all they do is chuck them away at the end. So hopefully, you'll be able to get some of these for nothing and uh, and do the same thing that I'm doing. Alright, and it won't cost you very much for the containers. So we're going to make sure that there's eight holes in each one of these for your drainage. And then we're, uh, we're going to crack on with filling them up. And I'll show you how to do that next. So there we have all our buckets drilled out. Eight holes in each. Six millimetre drill bit I used. Which was a uh, wood bit. And it went through them quite well. Uh, we're going to be using the Groshaw Farmyard Manure as a growing medium for these ones, just as another little experiment. If you look back at our potato shootout, we used um, standard compost but put amendments in with it. And uh, the best of the three amendments that we used was uh, organic chicken pellets, which is uh, obviously a form of concentrated manure. That's manure-ish. We're seeing how that goes on. So we had um, grow more blood, fish and bone. And we had um, organic chicken pellets. And I think the organic chicken pellets came out on top. So we're going to see what, we, what we're going to get. What we're going to get results wise from uh, just using the Grow Show Farmyard Manure on its own. Now the varieties we're going to be using, as I say, one spud per bucket. And there's three buckets for each. Is the Charlotte. So we've got the Charlotte Summer Planting Potatoes, a classic salad potato. These are ideal for containers, the Maris Pier. So these should do well in the buckets. And then we've got Pentland Javelin. So Pentland Javelin is the last of the three that we're going to be doing. See how these get on. Um, we're going to be doing more of the potatoes in the soil. So although we'll have nine in the buckets, we will have 18 potentially growing in the soil. Although, I might experiment with using the big 35 litre buckets over there, but I don't know. We'll see. We're definitely doing these buckets though tonight. So we're going to get, um, we're going to get um, three of each variety into the buckets and see which ones do the best for the Christmas shootout. Tonight is uh, August the 6th. August the 6th, is it today? 
It's either the 5th or the 6th. It's the Monday night anyway. The first full week of August 2019. So they'll be in the ground or in the buckets for at least three months. So uh, we're talking September, October, November. So I'm going to take these out hopefully the second week of November from the buckets, which is going to be uh, five weeks before Christmas. And uh, they'll hopefully keep, and they should keep anyway, we'll make sure that they store to have, to have for our Christmas period meals. So from the 25th through to January the 2nd or whatever, we'll be eating all of these. Fingers crossed. So let's get them cracked off. So here are the seed potatoes that I've selected. They're all of a similar size, large hen's egg sort of a size, and a similar chittage. They've all got three pretty decent chits on them. And these are the chits, you can see. A few more little chits there, actually. They're all very similar though, really, in chittage. That's what one big one on the top. In fact, I might swap that one out. And well, in fact, I will swap that one out. The one with more chits on it. So I've got one with more chips. Nope. Hmm. We'll keep him, never mind. Uh, not very really scientific this I know, but they're all similar sized potatoes. So we're going to see which one does the best. I think I will put some chicken manure in with them. I'm going to put a handful of chicken manure into the base, the first two inches. So it's the grocer and a handful of chicken manure into the base. I'm going to give them the best chance, eh? Let's give them all the best chance just to see what we can get out of these. Want plenty for Christmas, don't we? So I'm wanting two pounds for, per bucket. I want two pounds per bucket, so I've got 18 pounds of spuds to see us over the Christmas period in new potatoes. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah, that's the first one in. A couple of inches. You put them bum down. Now let's see if we can show you its bum. It's got a little dimple. That's its bum. And that's where the shoots come from the top. And that's where the roots come from its bottom. So always put them bum down into your mix. And as you can see there, there's a handful of organic chicken manure pellets gone into that as well as this because this is, it says farmyard manure but it doesn't smell like farmyard manure it smells like soil like normal compost to me that so uh, yeah I'm going to give it some of that because that was the best one that we used for the feed last time when we got the good results from the Ulster Prince and the Red Duke of York the first earlies so uh, that's what we're using so I'm going to do the same thing with all of these and then I'm going to cover them all up to about halfway up the bucket so that's the next phase so there we go less than a minute apiece I've half buried the bottoms into the uh, around about two inches Of our growing medium big good handful of the chicken manure into each one of these and so far we've got through about half a bag of that so I'm going to finish off that bag topping these up and maybe put another half bag in so they're a good halfway full these by the end of it and that's the way we're going to leave them until the chits and stems burst through the surface which hopefully will be in about a week or two and then we'll earth them up to the top again with the farmyard manure okay and then we'll label them up so we know what's what you have to put some sort of markings on them so you know which variety you're dealing with they've all had the same soil treatment growing medium treatment but uh, the different varieties is the experiment this time 
see which do best and then it'll be the taste test at the end hopefully when we harvest them okay all right forgot my marker pen so i needed to mark these up so we know what's what so i've color coded them with the uh, little plastic easter bunny easter eggs from when we had the easter the easter egg hunt obviously a few months ago now but uh, at least we know what what's what don't we i mean there we've got the pentland javelin they're the pinks we've got the maris pier they're the blues for the blue team and we've got the charlottes which are the yellow eggs so we know what's what and as you can see there they're uh, just over half full with the compost i've not put any amendments into that compost you put your amendments in really in your first couple of inches so uh, your feed goes in your first couple of inches really because that's where the roots are going to be um are going to be needing it and then the rest of it you don't need to really waste your amendments mate waste your feed because uh, there'll be enough, I think, in the farmyard manure, even though it's not fantastic quality. There'll be enough for the potatoes. You don't want too much nitrogen, really. Nitrogen is good for the uh, the leaf growth and the stem growth, but too much of it, and the energy is going to be going into your um, your plants and not your tubers. So it can be counterproductive. But there you go. Already. I think I might leave them there till the weekend. Let nature take its course. They're all at the same spot right at the front. We'll get sun really all the way through the day here. And uh, just for the time being, it's quite damp, the um, the compost. So we'll let the, we'll let the plant um, start off in the damp soil. If it does get really hot and dry, I'm going to come down and water probably on uh, on Wednesday night. Give them a watering, but uh, yeah, we'll just leave them leave them like that for the for a couple of days. See how they get on. Let them get a start. Right. Okay. And that's me for the evening. Me and my potatoes. Once again, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Little Farmer's Farm. I'm Guru Mafinda, and uh, we do lots of growing projects, lots of building and construction projects. Uh, mostly like sort of allotment based, like the tiki hut that you can see behind me. Have a look through the back catalogue about the tiki hut. I think it's cool. It's uh, my shed, my eight foot by eight foot shed, uh, that's solar powered. In fact, I'll show you that. I'll show you... What I mean, we have the lights in here, we have drinks facilities, vodka there if you want some, don't touch the stuff myself but we might drop some of that off for us, I've got a little radio there that I can't put on for copyright reasons, <laughs> there's a little fridge there as well for keeping the milk cool. And that's the Tiki Hut. I won't leave you with, with the Tiki Hut though, I'll leave you with a nice uh, sunset if I can. I always like to leave people with a pleasant vision. That's not too good today. That's not very good today. Yet. It's alright. I've seen better though. Some nights it's really, really crimson, that sky. Almost crimson, it's that red. But there you go. Happy days, folks. Enjoy the rest of your week and keep growing with your head down. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. This is Guru Mafinda signing out. And once again, thanks very much to Richard and Paul, your top chaps. See you later, boys and girls. Bye-bye.